My name is Dr. Gleifner and we are doing ionic bonding. And ionic bonding is fairly simple. I said in a previous video that you can divide the periodic table into metals and nonmetals. And this is what happens when a nonmetal and a metal react together. And we are limited to group six and seven on the nonmetal side and one and two on the metal side, which makes it nice and simple. Uh, both of these elements want to either lose electrons or gain electrons so that they add up to eight electrons. Group one has one outer electron, group two have two outer electrons, six has six outer electrons and seven have seven outer electrons. So what is the simplest path to eight? Well, group one and two will use uh, will lose one or two electrons respectively and group six and seven will gain two and one electron respectively to get to eight. So if we pick a group one and a group seven, um, metal and non-metal, like for example sodium, then what we'll get is sodium chloride. And that makes a very nice one-to-one -one compound because that's group one, Roman numeral, that's group seven, and they uh, both add up to eight. So that will magically give us a, well, not magically, but chemically give us a uh, ionic compound. So uh, let's draw sodium. Let's give it a little nucleus. Then we have one shell, two shells, three shells, and then chlorine, one, two, three. And the reason I know this is because I've done this many times. So sodium's electronic configuration is 281, chlorine's is 287. How do I know this? Because sodium is element number 11, chlorine is element number 17. And since they have 11 protons or 17 protons, they also have 11 electrons or 17 electrons. So I'll fit in the electrons and I'll do uh, crosses for sodium and dots for chlorine. Okay, so uh, there's a reason why I drew it like this, which will become apparent in a second. The outer electron from the sodium can now occupy the space that is on the chlorine's outer shell. And if it does that, then sodium will become 2,8, which will look exactly like neon, and chlorine will become 2,8,8, and it will look like neon, sorry, it will look like argon. There we go. And uh, I will do that now. Now the question is, does the third shell still exist with no electrons on it? And the answer is probably not. So this is almost all of it. We now have sodium looking like neon and chlorine looking like argon, which is nice. And we can draw some uh, square brackets around that because we're not quite finished yet. Now, since sodium only has 10 electrons left, so it used to have 11, it still has 11 protons, but it now has 10 electrons. There's a shortage of one negative charge. So that means that this uh, ion, which is just the definition of an atom with a different number of electrons to protons, a charged particle, this ion has a positive charge. And on chlorine side, we had 17 protons. We still have 17 protons, but now we've got 18 electrons and the difference is one negative charge more than it should have. Uh, so we can draw a negative charge in there. And what happens between those two is that they attract each other and they will form a very hard substance with a high boiling point. And I will do more practice ones in another video. Please like and subscribe and let me know of any questions you'd like me to cover in the comments.